retired. Look at us. Who would have thought? Um, I hope your day is going well. I hope you have vows written, even if they are very short. I don't care. All I care is that I'm marrying you today. I can't wait to walk down that very, very long aisle to get to you at the end and start the rest of our lives together. And I'm very excited to see the rest of our family and friends and get to celebrate together and be surrounded by all the people who love us so much in the world. So, I can't wait and I hope it's the best day ever. Anne and Eric have created this ceremony. They have woven from threads of two cultures a fabric that represents who they are when they are together. They wish to share with you their reflections on marriage and their hopes for the future. Drive through the night to lay underneath the stars Feels like I'm dreaming to be wherever you are When I fell for you. Hi Annie. You know, thinking back to how we met on day negative one of medical school, I still remember seeing the back of your head in Washington Park and following you into the Mexican restaurant and you, losing you in the back and waiting for you to come out the front and seeing then chasing you all the way through Albany to Alan Oyster and with a little help from our friends. Finally being able to talk to you was, uh, that was the best decision I ever made, chasing you all that time uh, across the entire freaking city. Um, the boldest thing I ever did and probably the smartest. Um, and ever since then it's really been like I've been living a fairy tale. I think that every day I wake up and see you I just, I feel so blessed and fortunate even when I wake up at 5 a.m. to feed the cat seeing you there it you know sometimes I just pause and look and even though I'm very grumpy that Moshi woke me up at five and just seeing you makes it a little better and I can't wait to do that for the rest of forever and and I love you I love you so much I won't miss a thing I'll hang on to extraordinary event. Anne and Eric present a relationship that has been challenged by time and personal change. They found each other in Albany before medical school had yet begun and the relationship blossomed amidst the challenges of both medical school and a global pandemic. And their love has prevailed by virtue of its strength and marriage today adds a new dimension which they approach with enthusiasm and deepening love. Today, Anne and Eric start a new life together, different from the togetherness they have shared so far.
can't believe it now. I know. Oh, wait, I can't prepare. I'm dead. Oh, good. Thank you. <laughs> Thank you. 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 No, we'll do that. No. Mm -hmm. Mm -hmm. Mm -hmm. <laughs> <laughs> this is not too bad. Like, we didn't get this. Uh, you know, we might have to modify some lifts. Okay. That's all I'm saying. Yeah. 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 <laughs> Let's keep it at one piece, okay? Okay. 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 Anne and Eric's love and the commitment they are making to marriage. They stand under a chuppah. It represents the promise of the home they're creating together. Its four sides are open, symbolizing the importance of community and participation in one another's lives. The members of their families are standing at the walls and corners of their symbolic home. They are the foundation upon which the structure of their lives rests. The roof also traditionally includes a Jewish cloth, usually called a talis. But today, Anne and Eric have chosen instead to use a red and gold cloth, colors that in Chinese culture represent love, prosperity, and happiness. The hopa covers the couple from above with protection from the harshest of elements, but does not protect them from everything. Together, they will weather their storms and their love will grow stronger as a result. Inside this chuppah, just as inside of the new home that they are creating, there is the love from their families who raised them, as well as the love they found from one another. By your choice, the two of you, only one of the cups that we have here today is reserved for the two of you alone. You decided to share this first cup with those who have been partners in your lives thus far the ones who have helped to make you the individuals you are. This cup of wine symbolizes the gratitude that Anne and Eric have for the loving care and teaching of their parents, the ties of heart and mind and memory that link brothers and sisters and for the friendships that fill this cup to overflowing. This cup of wine, symbolic of the cup of life, as you share this cup, you undertake to share all that the future may bring. May you find life's joys doubly gladdened and its bitterness sweetened. And all things, may they all be blessed with true companionship and love. Blessed are you, source of the universe, creator of the fruit of the vine. Rich I 
I, Eric, take you, Anne, to be my wife, best friend, and lifelong partner in marriage. Meeting you on day negative one of medical school was the best thing to ever happen to me. And chasing you across town to Ale and Oyster was both the boldest and wisest thing I've ever done. They say love at first sight only happens in fairy tales, and maybe that's true. But spending nearly every day with you for the last four years has felt like a fairy tale, so I must be living one. I pledge to always be by your side with whatever you need, whether it's a loving embrace or a cup of espresso made with love. I promise to support you through anything life throws at us, including waking up at 4.30 in the morning to feed mochi, having a glass of wine after a long day of work or two glasses, or procrastinating quite literally everything until the very last minute, including the finishing touches on this wedding. Our time management skills could use some work in the future, but I know we can do anything when we do it together. I promise to love you unconditionally throughout all the seasons of life, forever and always. Well, let's start from the beginning. Anne and I didn't always see eye to eye, height notwithstanding. As a toddler, she was kind of a brat, <laughs> a wild child. One talent of hers was that she could dislocate her elbow, and she seemed to use that to her full advantage. Oh, I want to play with your Barbie doll. No? Oh, there goes my elbow. Everyone would come rushing, fussing over her. Oh, why don't you play with this Barbie doll here? When we used to go to the mall, she would go on the rampage, running amongst the racks of clothing and shoes. This was before the time of those little monkey backpacks with the leashes. So as a dutiful older sister, I try to catch her. Well, this would come back to bite me and literally bit me right here. Unbelievable. I, Anne, take you, Eric, to be my husband. From the moment we met, I had a feeling that you were going to be someone very, very special. And though you showed up when I least expected, it quickly became apparent to me that you would become the most important person in my life. Before you, I had never met anyone with such infectious energy and passion. I am constantly in awe of you, of your selflessness, your intelligence, your humor, and your ability to throw yourself into everything that you do. You inspire me to be a better person and challenge me to rise to new goals. I love that you encourage me to stand up for myself and how you do my dishes after I've made a mess of the kitchen with my baking. I'll always be grateful of how I can be completely, genuinely myself around you, but also that you let me warm my toes against your legs. I don't know what I did to deserve you. I love you so much, and I can't wait to grow very old together and start our own family. I promise to support you and cherish you, to stand with you through all the winding roads ahead, and to continue singing silly made-up songs about our cat. You're my best friend, my partner in every sense of the word, my home, and I feel so overwhelmingly lucky and proud to be up here standing next to you. I promise that I will love you forever, as you are, for as long as I live. Never gonna stop loving you. Love, 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 loving you. Never gonna stop loving you. I give you this ring. As a symbol of my commitment to you. And to our partnership in life. You have my heart always. This is my beloved, and, and this, this is, is my friend. friend. There's been surprises too, you see, because Eric used to be a dog person, but I think in part due to Anne's charm, he has now embraced his love for feline and friends. <laughs> Though after having met their cat, Mochi, I can see why. He's just so freaking cute and has so much spunk. Eric, 
You found the perfect match in Anne, and I couldn't be happier for the both of you. Seeing the way you two light up when you're together, it's evident that your love is something truly special. By the power of your love and the commitment you have made, abiding the laws of the state of New York, I now pronounce you husband and wife partners for life. Yeah.